I'm going to try and put this as factually and with as little exaggeration as I can. We're now to the stage of the messy verse when leaked audio of a personal insult from an opposition coach about Lionel Messi becomes global news that Royals fans across international borders. Monterey is moving on! Before we get to Messi being called a possessed dwarf, I crap you not, that's the exact barb we're dealing with here. Heavy, some context. Let me take you back to the first leg of the CONCACAF Champions League. And Messi wasn't even playing against Mexican side Monterey, the King's right hammy, sidelining him for two months, four games. Messi! With Miami leading 1-0 in the quarterfinal home leg. Open the door for Inter Miami! 20-year-old Honduran midfielder David Ruiz picked up back-to-back yellows just four minutes apart. So David Ruiz! He has now been sent off. Who amongst us has not had that feeling to smack someone upside the head, even when we're on a yellow card? Inter Miami proceeded to concede twice in the final half hour, lost complete control of the game and the tie. But afterwards, a real action took place in the locker room area. Lionel Messi and some of the Inter Miami players, according to reports, confronted first a referee and then the Monterey team. What ensued was a good old-fashioned kerfuffle, a squabble, a brouhaha. And then the Monterey assistant coach Nico Sanchez later sent an audio recording to his close friend's circle, claiming that Lionel Messi wanted to fight him. Oh, I should be so lucky. Real quote, he had me a centimeter away. He put his fist next to my face. Oh, he thought our irate gent mostly wanted to rile him. Quote, the dwarf was possessed. He had the face of the devil. Yes, Satan. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. You sounded like someone else. You know, as far as impromptu insults go, this is probably top 10 all-time inadvertently incredulous badass new nickname. Just imagine squaring up to the possessed dwarf goat devil. I mean, it sounds both adorable and terrifying in equal measure. Not someone you want to F with. That audio recording somehow leaked to the media and Sanchez was quickly forced to submit one of those hostage-style selfie apology video things that our social media age is just so fond of producing and consuming. Me servirá de aprendizaje para... Para más In the next game, against the Colorado Rapids, Messi came off the bench at halftime. Oh, here comes the possessed dwarf devil! Where are the captain's armband to start the second half? And he quickly scored a dozen minutes later. You just knew it would happen! Surely preparing for revenge in the second leg, upcoming against Monterey, which the possessed dwarf goat duly started. But into Miami were stunningly herded straight out of the competition. It's a giveaway by Cal- Brandon Vasquez, once of Cincinnati, now of Monterey, rushing his team to a three-goal lead. And it's a third for Monterey. It's a complete disaster for Miami. For Jordi Alba, this time it was his turn to be sent off. And Jordi Alba's night is done. A late consolation goal left the aggregate score 5-2 into Miami. Out of the Champions League, Monterey, they naturally played it cool, yeah? celebrating by dancing on a messy jersey as if they'd slain the beast and save the entire village hey you know i'm actually old enough to remember when that kit was near impossible to get your grubby little paws on let alone your dirty hooves for a second Fair play, Monterey. If you're going to talk smack, you've got to reinforce it, back it up. And Monterey did just that. They are now onto the CONCACAF Champions League semi-finals. Question on everyone's lips, though, after this incident. Is Brandon Vasquez now a more deadly finisher than Lionel Messi? The whole world's asking that question, hey? We're just trying to ask rational things here. Either way, I wouldn't want to be Monterey the next time Lionel Messi visits Nuevo Leon or the next team on the fixture list, which was Sporting Kansas City, who cruelly picked the short straw of the schedule in Canada and kind of made the best of it. Because you can bet Messi had an extra mate or three before this one. And though he did take time out of his pre-match routine to meet one lucky fan, just happened to be co-owner of the NWSL Kansas City Current. He also moonlights as the quarterback Taylor Swift cheers for when she visits Arrowhead Stadium where this match got moved to because of Messi mania to better accommodate all 72,000 of Lionel Messi's other non-Patrick Mahomes fans. By the way, ever wonder what rarefied ultra-secret advice elite athletes share with each other in private? Brace yourself because we can bring you exclusive access behind the curtain. Listen to this, the key to success in any type of football as explains who won. Oh, 
possessed dwarf goat by Big Pat. So man, take a look man, have fun out there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Patrick Mahomes x-ray vision glasses, daddy wants. Messi's vision, that ain't bad either. Wonderful ball for Messi to go This reverse slide rule pass, Mwah! threading the entire defence, setting up the equaliser for Diego Gomez. Right on cue! Lionel Messi then scored from range. Messi! Oh, he's like an Argentinian Caitlin Clark. He gives the people what they want! An absolute paddy whack thwack before Luis Suarez scored from, well, more like Luis Suarez range. In the right spot at the right time. The tap in, sealing a mighty 3-2 win amidst delirious scenes on the road. We're so back, boys. Actually, the only one in Inter Miami who wasn't yet back on regular season form appears to be, oh, Messi's heroic bodyguard. Hello, Yassine. First, he let a selfie-seeking fan actually touch Messi. What? Granted, the fan had a 30-yard head start before he could intercept and tackle. So not only did another pitch invade a beat Yassine to Messi, he allowed a literal child to actually take a picture oh, in Messi's orbit. Oh, Yassine, the empathy, you wonderful human being. Then after tiny fan hyping up the crowd to cheer his win in a foot race with the iconic bodyguard. If Messi's spike comebacks anything to go by, expect the next pitch invader to meet a brutal Yassine clothesline. That's what my money's on. Tune in to This Week in the Messiverse for all the latest Yassine news, all the latest in Possessed Wolf Goats, and of course, oh, the great Lionel. Only on the Men and Blazers Media Network. Find out what rude nickname Lionel's opponents will call him next.